dear students this is a video for a debrief question of uh, acc exam advanced taxation march 2020 and the purpose of this video is to uh, give you some understanding about that how you can attempt a question in your exam how you can identify the relevant requirement how you can isolate different topics in a given question so we'll start with this question and uh, in this uh, particular video we are not going to solve this question but rather i will tell you that uh, how you can identify different requirements and how you can relate which which topic that you have studied you can apply so starting from the question the question says that pedro requires advice on the reason he has had to pay inheritance tax so the first of all the first issue that that is in front of us is to deal with iht in respect of a holiday cottage following the death of his aunt that means it is a case of a death state computation or it might be a case of a lifetime transfer so marina aunt marina an explanation of why his letting of the cottage qualifies as a furnished holiday lettings and the second issue is that the letting of cottage is uh, considered as a furnished holiday letting so the question ask you why give the reason why this particular letting is classified as fhl and this is related to a topic called the property income and the income tax implication of a significant contribution into personal pension scheme and the third issue is pertaining to the pension topic pension and particularly the ppc that is the personal pension contribution so there are three issues that we have to tackle one is the iht consequences the second one is the uh, consequence related to property income and the third one related to pension income so from three different topics the question has been set the question has been aggregated so first of all the requirement of the question so we have three requirements the first requirement is related to inheritance tax the second requirement is uh, related to furnished holiday lettings that is property business and the third requirement is related to pension scheme and the marks are first 5 then 5 and then 10 marks so it's a 20 marks question the first requirement says that explain so you have to explain the implication of iht of the gift of cottage to pedro at the time of the gift and when someone gives a gift uh, during the lifetime it might be a potentially exempt transfer or it might be a chargeable lifetime transfer so you have to consider carefully the rules regarding that and similarly and at the time of death so iht consequences during lifetime and iht consequences at the time of death the second issue is say, uh, says that explain again by reference to the relevant conditions why the holiday cottage will qualify as a furnished holiday letting for the first 12 month of letting so in this particular period the examiner uh, asked that uh, explain the conditions that why this particular cottage is considered as fhl and the third requirement says that calculate so you have to calculate the reduction in income tax liability as a result of a planned contribution of 85000 into personal pension scheme your answer should include an explanation as well of the amount of personal allowance available to pedro in this case so in this case you know that how pension affect the relevant income tax liability what is the uh, how we can enhance the tax band in case of the gross personal pension income what is the concept of annual allowance what is the concept of annual allowance charge this is related to pension scheme so in the third requirement we have to explain as well as we have to calculate for 10 marks now let's identify the further details regarding these three questions so we have been provided some information regarding pedro pedro was giving a holiday cottage in the uk by his aunt marina on 4th march 2009 this is the date of gift 
paid inheritance tax in respect of this gift of the holiday cottage following Marina's death on 8 June 2019. Inherited a portfolio of UK furnished residential properties valued at 6,70,000 on Marina's death. So uh, Pedro was uh, provided uh, with uh, a holiday cottage as well as a portfolio of UK unfurnished residential properties uh, valued at 6,70,000 on Marina's death. And on these issues, you have to solve the part one related to IHT. That is how you can apply lifetime and the tax on death. The gift of holiday cottage in UK by Marina. Marina and Pedro agreed that she could stay in the house for two months each year rent free, which she did every year until her death. For the remainder of each year, Marina leave, lived in her main home. So in the topic IHT, there is a concept called gift with reservation. So you have to carefully analyze that whether this is considered as a gift with reservation. And if this is the case, then in the case of gift with reservation, what would be the consequences? So overall, there are three issues. That is IHT during lifetime, IHT at the time of death and with respect to gift with reservation. The third, second issue is property income. The cottage, which is fully furnished, has been available for rental on a commercial basis since 1st July 2019 and have a 70% occupancy rate for the first year of trading. No tenant will have stayed in the cottage for more than 14 days during the first year of letting. And the rental income net will be 14,500. If you know the conditions of furnished holiday lettings, then you can identify whether the conditions have been satisfied or not so that you can answer it proper in a proper way. In the tax year 1920, Pedro also received net rental income of 32,000 from the unfurnished residential properties which he inherited from Marina. So this is a scenario of the rental income which is uh, either based on the unfurnished properties or the furnished holiday lettings. The next issue is related to the employment income. Pedro has been employed since 6th April 2018, annual gross salary of 75,000 and contributed 8,000 in each year into occupational pension scheme on behalf of Pedro. His employer has contributed. And now the pension scheme is personal pension scheme. Pedro has never been a member of pension scheme prior to taking up employment. Pedro wishes to start contribution to a personal pension scheme in the tax year 1920 and intends to make his first contribution of 85,000 gross on 31st March 2020. In the topic of pension, you have to identify that how much relief is available you have to apply the criteria and then you have to identify the method of relief. Then you will identify the annual allowance and you have to see that whether annual allowance will be extended or not. And then compare with the amount that will make sure that whether we have to pay additional tax on the contribution or not. The annual allowance available was not restricted in the previous tax year. And the income tax liability for 1920 before considering pension was 41,260. And the question requirement was says that calculate the reduction in income tax liability as a result of making this contribution. So I already told you that when you, uh, when you invest something in pension scheme, the ultimate impact is you get some relief as well as uh, the band will be extended. So obviously the income tax liability will be reduced and you have to also check the adjusted net income that whether personal allowance will be available or not available. So you can see that if you properly analyze any question in exam, if you, if you can properly identify the relevant topics that being asked in the question and you can isolate the requirements easily that what has been asked, whether you have to explain, you have to calculate and other stuff. So you can easily score in this paper. So don't worry about the exam. 
just clear your concepts, the basic concept, for example, the personal allowance computation is a very basic one. The pension contribution topic is a basic one. So if you know these basics, you can get 10 easy marks in part C. And if you know the basics of IHT, you know the basics of furnished holiday letting, you can also score good marks in this particular question. 